Andreas Vesalius was a, a Flemish practitioner, born in 1514. Uh, he studied at the University of Paris and at the University of Louvain before moving to Italy, to the University of Padua, where he was, uh, became the, uh, a professor of anatomy. Um, the, his importance lies in the publication of the Humani Corporis Fabrica in 1543, because this book, which is considered perhaps the most important book in the history of medicine, lay a new foundation for the uh, study of anatomy. What Vesalius did in his book was, was actually produce a manual of how to do a dissection. Uh, and he, was, he used to do the dissections himself, unlike uh, what went before where barbers, uh, surgeons would do the dissection uh, under the instruction of the professor who sat above the, the, uh, um, the table and sort of gave instructions. Vesalius himself did the dissection and talked as he did it and showed uh, how it should be done. In so doing, he, he set a new standard for anatomical uh, discussion. And uh, that's the, one, the textual importance of the book. The, the other important thing is the book is the, the wonderful illustrations that it has. Uh, he obviously used the best um, artists and woodcutters, there are, these are wood blocks, uh, to illustrate the text. And it is a, a complete... The, the, the famous plates are the uh, there's three skeleton plates and 14 so-called muscle men, which present a progressive dissection. Uh, and the images are extremely striking. So the 1543 edition satisfied demand until 1555, when a second edition came out. Um, the second edition contained many revisions, things that perhaps Vesalius had got wrong and was correct in the second, division, uh, in the second edition. The plates are the same, though. The plates that we use were the same, except for the title page, which was, which was a, a new one. Now the copy that we were, were was put on deposit at the Fisher Library is a um, is a copy of the of the second edition. Um, what's remarkable about it is that it was annotated quite heavily throughout. Um, the donor had bought this book at an auction in Germany. Um, he noted in the description in the catalogue that it was annotated. But that's all it said, that it was annotated. And he was interested in getting an annotated copy. It lacked the index, so the price wasn't so high. He bought it and looked, examined the annotations and came to the conclusion that these could have only have been done by Vesalius himself. He then compared the handwriting with letters that um, known, known letters by Vesalius, which are in uh, Uppsala in Sweden, and that basically clinched the, the argument. They were definitely in Vesalius's hand. So what we have here is a second edition annotated by Vesalius, and that is the final version of the text. The, that Vesalius left in his lifetime. Clearly it was intended as a third edition, but the third edition never came out. So this is the final, this is Vesalius's final word. That's why this, this text is so incredibly important.